is that. Yeah. And Mike Sile is able to take advantage of the throwing with just one hand. Going to the body, but at times as Mike Sile was able to counter. But nonetheless, Russell did land a, several clean shots. Capital Heights. Mike Sile from the Philippines. Mike Sile, seven years. Magnifico! Here we go. Trained by Freddie Roach and Russell, on the other hand, making a six months training champion in boxing. He's one of the guys like Leo Santa Cruz, Gervonta Tank Davis. And there's a nice uppercut from Maxayo. This is certainly going to be a chess match, and there you see the jab from Russell. And there's that right hand again from Maxayo. Russell certainly has to be aware. Okay, well, I said, that's perfect when you punch him. You're rolling him in the uppercut. Black trunks, Mike Sile in the navy blue and gold. Mike Sile is looking for that uppercut. And Russell is so hard. There's a body shot followed with a left hook from Russell. And now Mike Sile pushes Russell back a bit. That's something you have to do with a guy like Mike Sile. Mike Sile is looking to change that. There's that right hand again. There's that left hand from Mike Sile. Is he and also trying to time up Maxile and Maxile trying to do the same? And I think he may have connected on that overhand right, not positive. I got hit by the fight of his life here tonight. And there's Russell again, huge nonetheless. You're starting to see the aggressiveness of Gary Russell. champion back into the body by Russell now Maxile providing some different angles and Russell's such a student of the game there's an overhand left by Russell both guys have to watch their head and there is a seam of body shots and Russell maybe Russell clearly let out a grimace Sile's confidence has got to be growing here. To see the grimace on Russell, to see that on his face, alone is probably a win. And there's that left hand again connected. Let's see, he had an undisclosed injury, and there's that left hand just caught Mark Sile as he darted in. And now Russell using that left again, again from Russell. And there's the end of that fourth round. Badly is it hurting him? Who knows? But he feels well enough to continue on here in round five on the inside and really press the action on Russell. Coming forward, overhand right, followed by the left. And yeah, Russell, as you see through this fight, I'm just noticing he is not throwing that right hand at all. And I don't know how he is going to be able to continue through this fight solely on just if Maxile hasn't picked up it. There's some body shots from Maxile. And now Maxile really has referee. Let's Russell get back to his feet. Here's some of the highlights of that round. Seems to plan and just use his left hand here the rest of the way. Maxile comes in with a couple of bit more. There he goes, gets through the defense of Russell. For that uppercut. He's going to have to focus on movements and angles, relying just on his left hand now. Straight left by Russell. Maxile with the big uppercut. Stalking Russell. 
Russell. Russell again still has some quickness, and there's a body shot connected from Lexile. This will be extremely impressive if Russell can escape with the victory. The fact that he is only using one hand, and there he knocks Lexile. Lexile again continuing to chase Russell around the ring. There's a left hook, and Russell again just ducks underneath. Here's the three-punch combo that Maxile was able to connect with, get through the defense of Russell. And then Russell ducking underneath, but he took him. Now, you know you have Russell hurt. He should have been able to pick up on the given opening to Maxile. As difficult as possible for Russell. And there's Maxile again, trying to cut off the ring of Russell. And Russell connected on that straight leg. And there's a left hand again on the chin at Russell. Who's thus far, Russell only 40. It's only going to be interesting on his, his movement and placing Russell. Wasn't going to throw that much coming into this fight. And there's that left hand again. Defense and, you know, picks his shots. He, he relies more on being accurate. There's Maxile again as he takes a look. Final seconds of round seven. This far. Maxile with the body shot. Said last round, I mean, Maxile did the more active fighter, more aggressive. Chasing Russell around the ring, and there's that overhand right by Maxile, but countered with the left hook. Is that stiff jab from Maxile knocking Russell back a bit. Two years ago, he started to slow down in the second half of that of fight. And there's that overhand right again from Maxile. Now Russell ducks out of the way. Backing Maxile up a bit, and now Russell. There is that body shot from Russell, but he took a right. And there is that sh double, I believe it was the second or third round on. And there's a, a Maxile walked right into a left, exquisite boxing. Maxile's been able to compress forward here in round nine. Back into the body, on the front foot of Russell. Find ways to his defense is incredible. Now Maxile try to counter with the right hook. Counter with that left and dance around. And now Maxile is able to connect on some, but just hasn't been enough in that ninth round. Side. He got tied up. Round 10. Miguel Flores here, premier boxing champions here in Atlantic City. Now McSile unloading a flurry. And there is a straight from McSile that he was able to land on Russell. McSile has Russell in the corner. This is where he wants him to be. If you're McSile, this way you don't allow him to. Russell, that overhand left. And now body shot by Russell. Walking Russell down. connected, landed on Russell with that straight left. There's some body shots from Maxile. He was looking for that big overhand right. Let Maxile know we need two more rounds like the last round. And now Maxile on top of Russell. Back into the body is Maxile. 
<laughs> now Russell back into the body. Fight through this. And now Maxile again, sort of off balance. Now again, Manny's one of one, but. featherweight championship bout. Mark Sile looking to become Sile. And uh, followed up with a jet and uppercut. And Mark Sile into the body. And now Mark Sile almost had left. Minute and a half to go. There's a huge right hand from how you're starting to hear the Gary Faithful. Siles section. You have Garriers to come out victorious. Russell with a huge overhand left as the punches, the volume. Hasn't been able to throw it at all. And now McSile. And now it's two straight lefts by Russell to close the final round. Come out victorious. a tactical battle. You can see the frustration on Russell's face in the fight. There's that. And Maxile is able to take advantage of the throwing with just one hand. Going to the body, but at times as Maxile is able to counter. But nonetheless, Russell did land a, several clean shots. And there was did not make it easy. And there you see.